Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be about B9 and of course how you can clear it and what mines you can use for it. And just so I don't ramble too much, let's go ahead and just talk about B9 really quickly. Um, B9 is very similar to B7 in which the mines there are quite tanky and they can do quite a bit of damage. But unlike B7, B9 is pretty much about sap. So you, you want a team that can clear it out fairly well. Um, usually three attackers and a healer or if you have enough DPS just four attackers um, preferably in the beginning someone that can debuff and also a healer so your run times might be a little bit slow but let me just show you some mons that uh, I would I would personally use if you have them just to clear out um, B9 either so you can go to B10 or for farm purposes so you can do B10 but um, if you somehow have a fire sick read of course he's a great contender for it um, Fire, fire uh, Candling is an excellent contender for it. He's what I used originally. Um, fire Succubus is also quite well. Um, fire Miho, uh, not really recommend it, but you can use her if you build her. Um, fire Mustang, um, I will get to him a little bit later. Um, we'll find out. You'll find out. Um, fire Wild Thing, most definitely. I used her as part of my original um, B910. Well, B9 team, not B910. Um, Fire Arthur. You can use Fire Odin. Fire Misha. Um, possibly, yes. Fire what? Katani or whatever. Um, definitely, as a healer. Easily farmable too. Fire Nez as a, as a debuffer. Um, you can use a Fire Barona. Um, Fire Beth. If you somehow like how have an Evo 3 uh, Stormbeak. Yeah. Fire Leo. Um, Fire Kira. Definitely. Um, who else? Who else? Of course I said Fire Succubus earlier. Um, not Fire Hana. Fire Fibian. Yeah. Not optimal, but you could definitely use him. Um, Fire Radis, if you somehow have an Evo 3 Radis. Yeah. And hopefully um, you guys could get Fire Gemini. If you did get Fire Gemini, definitely. Most definitely you can use her as well. Um, Golden Ramu, not really. Um, Fire uh, Mowgli, definitely. Um, Minicat, no. But uh, let's go ahead and go to B9 uh, real quick. And just show you guys... Um, Potential teams that you can use just to clear out B9. Um, like I said, um, B9 is very similar to B7 where you just want tanky mons. And I did list off some mons that you could use for it. Of course, there's others if you have other mons. But um, my original team was uh, Fire Kindling, Fire Succubus. Uh, where's my Arthur? Arthur and Wild Fang. And they cleared it out just fine. It was normally like maybe two minutes, two and a half minutes when I first began. But once you get to a point um, where DPS isn't a problem, you won't have to give up a slot for, like I, I would probably give up um, either my Wild Fang or my Succubus for a Fire uh, Cottony. Which is why I have a level 51. So uh, that one's definitely viable as well. If you're trying to clear out B9 and your mods keep getting snuffed out, pick up a fire cottony from the shady shop and he'll do he'll do business. He will do business. But now I probably would run um probably fire candling still. Uh fire sick freed. Fire succubus and probably wild fang just to run through real quick and i understand it's kind of hard especially if you've only farm only been farming b8 or you just started b7 and your gems aren't up to par like you don't have a whole bunch of five star and six star gems so clearing it out might take you a while like actually i think it actually might have taken me like three minutes to clear it out but just keep persevering uh, work on getting hopefully some good gem drops just so your mods can clear it out a little bit quicker and I mean it'll definitely come um, the mods I listed off are all potential candidates that you can use in whatever order that you find worthy and I'm pretty sure that if they're gem correctly and their skill book if they need to be skill book then they'll definitely clear it out no problem 
I mean, I myself, I don't, I haven't been doing B9 a, a lot recently, but uh, I'm about to pick it up again because I need some, um, I need some good, like hopefully ruined gems that are triangles, because I'm trying to raise up a couple mons. But it's fairly simple, as you guys can see. I know I might make it look a little bit easy, or easier than what it should be, and I don't know why I didn't debuff them. But I mean, you definitely get there if you have like, um. Evo 2 Firewall thing can definitely solo here if you have her with the correct gems on her. But I do not recommend that for the simple fact that um, it's garbage. Like there's sometimes that she would clear at Evo 2 and sometimes she wouldn't. And when she would clear it would be like 6 minutes long. Which to me if it takes you over maybe 3 or 4 minutes to clear out um, an area especially like golems then you need to go back and rework on a certain mon or re rework your entire team because at that point in time it's just not efficient and you're just wasting your time i mean that that's pretty much it you're pretty much just wasting your time if it takes you that long to um to farm it you might be like elio but i need the gems i need the gems and i understand that i understand the struggle but there comes a point in time where that orange just isn't worth the squeeze and at that point it's just not worth the squeeze so if you're having a little bit of trouble then go back to b8 and focus on um b7 and then hopefully you'll get there for the most part i i have faith in you guys i know you guys can do it but um that pretty much sums up the b9 video um anything that i forgot to include of course will be included in text in the video and um B9 is just as simple as B7. Again, I don't want to be a dead horse. But that's about it, you guys. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.